Hi, I'm Herbert Goodwin Jr., CEO and founder of American Career Development Corporation and Razor Sharp Record South. We have created a company that focuses on job creation in the city of Savannah and the coastal empire, all the way to the low country. We are looking to establish educational media and promotional services that help our community build stronger communities, stronger infrastructure, and our students to be able to find the jobs that they need. Mr. G is I often refer to you. Uh, what is the most challenging part of getting it up? Off the biz uh, your business up off the ground, and so to speak. The most challenging part of uh, starting the company is seeking the funding that is necessary to actually start up. Well, I'm very impressed with what I see so far. Uh, uh, in most occasions, you would go seek funding from uh, family and friends. That would be the most viable way to actually get the funding that you need. That you can really tell that he's done his homework and uh, hasn't just said he hasn't had an, didn't didn't just have an idea. He actually had an idea and then came up with a plan to implement the idea. It's a difficult process, but if it's done and you actually put the time and effort that is required, you will be able to get the funding that you need. I hope it wasn't his plan. He, he actually thought it out. Um, you can just tell in the design. Very nice. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Good job. I wish you well. Absolutely. Where are you gentlemen from? Uh, SunTrust Bank. Okay. Wonderful. I'm glad that you believe in yourself and others that you come in contact with. And you continue to walk by faith and not by sight. God bless. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the Still there, oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you for this young man that you have instilled in his heart to begin a new adventure here in Savannah, Georgia. God, I pray that you will continue to shower your blessings upon him. Open doors. Send those that are in need of a career, God. Bless them in your name. God, I know that you are able to do all things but fail. We look into you now. You did it once before, and I believe you're going to do it again. Bless him and keep him. Keep him focused, God, that he will not allow Satan to pull him out the direction that he is going. Do it for him, God. These and all other blessings we ask in your name. Let everybody say amen. Amen. There are three things in this world that you can avoid. Death taxes and the media but we didn't come here to talk about death we didn't come here to talk about taxes we came here to talk about media media is very important to this to today's society through the holy spirit god has used brother goodwin to use media to enrich empower and to elevate this society and our youth to another level as far as today's society, most of the media produces negative connotations about, you know, life. Some songs produced um, talk about, you know, murder, drugs, and, 
you know, it's entertainment, but somehow some people who listen to it take it seriously. And we want—we just want to change the type of music that is produced. I thank God that I'm here this afternoon because as, as you try, as you want to run from it, we have iPhones, iPads, internet. We can't get away from media. But unfortunately in this world, media has been used to corrupt our younger generation. But this afternoon, we came in to celebrate Mr. Goodwin through the Holy Spirit with the idea and the notion to use media to impact not only this generation, but generations to come. Brother Goodwin, look at your supporters, senators, pastors, people from all walks of life coming to support you and your idea. Continue to let God use you to his glory. Thank you. Well, as American citizens, we like entertainment. We like to learn from watching television. Some of us have bought a Kindle, and we have all these books that we have downloaded. A lot of training comes from reading. A lot of training comes from what the youth watch on television. Sometimes, as parents, as citizens, we have multiple jobs. But we don't have enough time to spend with our kids to give them the adequate training that they need. So I started a company called American Career Development. Its focus is on the youth. Its focus is on the people in the city of Savannah who does not have a job. I have a prominent career. How can you help someone who's been trying to search for a job for years? Many of us have had college educations. We pay thousands of dollars for school and training. However, we become overqualified for some positions we apply for. We become underqualified for some jobs or even with contractors. We don't get our bidding on time. There's certain things that if we were taught on a consistent basis, we will be able to do better. As you look at other countries like Japan, China, they have moved so vastly forward with technology. Their students are doing much better than our students. Grade point averages are much higher than ours. So how can we change it? We have to start off with a plan and a solution to build jobs that teach kids how to work. We're gonna open our door and extend a welcome to all the citizens of people who have been looking for a job. And we're gonna give them consulting. We're gonna help them with create business plans. It's wonderful to be an entrepreneur. Most people say they wanna start a company but they don't know how to start a company. They go through training. City of Savannah has provided programs in the past, but some people fail to follow through because they feel that they don't get the personal attention. Well, I'm starting a company where you get the personal attention. No matter how much money I make, no matter how successful I am, I'm always gonna be a citizen. So today I tell you what it's about. It's about serving, empowering, educating the community through media. And not just media, but hands-on training right here at this location. We're gonna create jobs, but if we work together, we can invest in each other. We can invest our time, we can invest our ideas. And if we invest our ideas and our time, we'll be able to do so much more in the community. We're gonna implement a magazine, it's called O3, which means one mind, one body on one accord. It's a magazine that focuses on empowering each other. We're gonna have a how-to section in it. How to start your own business what corporate filing paperwork is required, what tax paperwork is required, who can I call as a CPA, who can be my bookkeeper, which banks to bank with. I'm gonna bring more entertainment to this event. I'm gonna bring entertainment that is viable, that is important, but that is educational. Entertainment, film. Entertainment, music. Entertainment, art. We have a great college chair, SCAD, they have a lot of programs, and I want to work hand in hand with them to providing internships. And I thank you for coming out, and we will have more information about what we're trying to do and what we're looking for on our website, and that's acdcusa.com. Today we're going to do a ribbon cutting ceremony right after this. We need to stop complaining about our problems and come up with solutions to fix them. We have very special guests today, uh, the mayor uh, of the city of Savannah, Miss Edna Jackson. Um, she showed up and she showed her um, appreciation and gave her encourage encouragement to me. Uh, just to come and co congratulate this young man on the business that he's going to bring to this community. I, the, 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 the pastor just talked about media. 
Yes, media is very important in this community. But the one thing that we'll also do is bring jobs to this community. If there is anything that we are lacking, it is jobs in this community. But the good part about it, we have a young man, a young man that has had a vision, and a vision to say that he wants to give back to this community. And that is what it is all about. So on behalf of the city of Savannah, all of its 135 plus thousand people, we just want to say congratulations to you. Senator Lester Jackson who came and he gave words of encouragement and presented me with a medallion. Mr. Goodman, can you come forward? In the tradition of medieval uh, societies, I want to give you the ambassador medallion of goodwill. Oh, a medallion that says you you are a ambassador of goodwill. We thank you for your contributions of not what you've done, but what you shall do for this community, what you shall do for the state, what, what you shall do for this country. I want to thank you for what you represent for all of us. The, the, the ambassador medallion of goodwill. I want to thank you, sir. Thank you. Excellence is a habit. It was an honor to actually be able to cut the ribbon to present this new company to the city of Savannah. It was a good feeling. It was very hot outside, but it was a really good feeling to actually be able to open this business to the public and let people know that we're here and we're here to help. Fantastic soundboard, it's all wonderful. And I think what uh, we're trying to do here is going to be a great thing. I, I was actually very surprised that the mayor and, and Lester Jackson all that came on. I, mean, I thought it was great. With the promotional assistance, we <laughs> handed all the flyers and <laughs> put it all on the internet. It was an honor to sing this morning for the, um, the grand opening of such a wonderful, wonderful business that's getting ready to get started. I plan on working with Mr. Goodwin. I do. Um, he's really good with the music. He's a musician at my church, Cornwall Street Church of God, um, and he's a musician there, so I definitely plan on working with him. Congratulations. I've told him this before. Congratulations. We're really proud of him. I would like to introduce my vice president, Mr. Randall Fluellen. He's been a great partner in getting all this stuff done. Um, without him, a lot of things I would have been doing by myself, but he has assisted me in a great way, and I thank him for his, his help, his teamwork, and his leadership. To my left is our creative director. She designs all of our artwork and all our presentations. Her name is Karenina Alexis Simmons, and please give her a round of applause. I am a part of the Toastmasters International Club, Southside, and this is my president, Mr. Kenya uh, Harrison, and I thank him for coming out to help support this great grand occasion. Also, I see one of my bankers. Did you wave, Mark? <laughs> I thank him for coming out. We give the glory to God for giving us this opportunity to have life and strength, and we just thank him, and we're gonna go for it with faith and trusting in him that we will be successful. ask you what was the most challenging, uh, what is the most rewarding part about the business? And as far as today's society, most of the media produces negative connotations about, you know, life. Some songs produced um, talk about, you know, murder, drugs, and, you know, it's entertainment, but somehow some people who listen to it take it seriously. 